that made us look really... No, I'm just kidding. Okay, all right. With some... With some... I'm so glad I'm here today. Thanks for everyone who uh, participated. I wrote this recently. I saw um, three pieces of news um, that kind of uh, became a poem by themselves. <clears throat> uh, one piece of news is about uh, the crowdedness of uh, the island of Santorini in uh, Greece. Uh, and the other one is also the rush hour on Mount Everest. Have you heard that news? The rush hour on Mount Everest and is causing a safety hazard for climbers. And the third part, uh, the third news that has the same um, frequency is um, that the Louvre, the museum in Paris, was so busy that uh, uh, the employees went on strike. It's so busy that they can't keep up with the with the crowds. And there's something symbolic I felt in in all these pieces of news about <clears throat> the beauty of Earth and what's happening to us and it. Uh, it's called We All Want to Watch the Sunset in Santorini. We all want to watch the sunset at the beautiful Greek island of Santorini. It melts over the horizon, warming the blue water into red. And its orange color is washed away by the waves to the shore to submerge the rocks slightly, delivering the whispers of the sun. We all want to watch the sunset in Santorini. Quote, if you have the money, you can go. End quote. And we go, and we go. Quote, 32 million tourists visited the Greek islands last year. End of quote. Sunset at Santorini was obscured by the thousands of cameras and selfies. We all want to watch the sunset at Santorini, but we end up watching our little screens and an ocean of hands and phones, taking selfies and posting, hashtagging and liking and checking boxes on bucket lists before we die and decompose. We all want to watch the sunset in Santorini as if it's not the same sun that sets behind our alleys and through the kitchen window over the empty bottle of olive oil. And we end up crowded on a mountain with our thousands of Chinese made sandals and Korean phones taking photos of the emptiness of the moment, gathering like ants over a piece of chewed candy, trying to move it into our social media so we can believe it when others do. It's rush hour on Mount Everest, quote. The world's highest peak. Attempting to climb Everest is an intrinsically irrational act, a triumph of desire over sensibility. Yet, open quote, if you have the money, you can go, end of quote, said Todd Burleson, founder of Mount Everest Guide Services. So we go. And we go and now people die standing in line for a selfie on the highest peak on earth where oxygen is scarce and you are feet away from a free fall into the gravity that keeps us human. We all want to climb Mount Everest as if the struggle to help a friend grow or to remove injustice from a neighbor or to fight for the right of self-determination or standing against the wrath of capitalism or trying to subdue the voices in your head is not the highest peak on earth. Musée de Louvre Twitter said, museum closed today due to a recent increase in visitor numbers. Members of Musée de Louvre's reception and security staff are exercising, exercising the right to strike, end of quote. We all want to visit the Louvre and see the Mona Lisa. If you have the money, you can go. So we go and we go and we walk past Joseph William Turner's slave ship and girl calls the raft of the Medusa looking for the Mona Lisa. And when you find it, you will be standing at the ocean of hands and phones, taking photos and selfies and checking, checking bucket, bucket lists before they die and decompose. Open quote, what to say about visiting conditions when people are confronted with noise, trampling crowds and extreme fatigue, end of quote. 
We all want to watch the sunset at Santorini. Thank you.